Hi, it's John from Android Addicts with a, another quick video showing you how to set up the Panda Gamepad Pro app for Android. I had quite a few queries and comments in the previous video that I did, so I thought I would just go through the steps again. I've made them slightly easier and we'll just go through setting up Call of Duty Mobile with the gamepad once it's been connected. So first up, obviously go into the Play Store and search for Panda Gamepad. You want to download Panda Gamepad Pro Beta. Click on here and click install. Okay, now once that's installed, you want to go into your phone settings and we're going to enable a debugging mode. Now to do that, we need to go to about phone and then click on software information and you'll see here the build number. Just click that seven times and you'll see a little message down here appear saying that we are a developer. Okay, so the reason we need developer mode activated is because when we plug it into the PC to activate the software, we have to have developer access. So we go back into the settings. We now have the developer options showing at the bottom here. Click on there and we're gonna find USB debugging, which is here. And we're just gonna turn that on. Press okay if prompted. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so we've got our USB debugging enabled and we've got our USB-C cable which we're going to plug into our Windows PC. Now, it's obviously detected my phone here as it's popped up with the uh, phone memory, but I'm just going to close that down. Now, to make sure that your phone is being detected properly, if you just right click on the start button here and go to device manager, We can see under portable devices, we've got the Galaxy S8 displayed. Okay, what I'm also gonna do is change the uh, USB mode to charge only. So on a Samsung phone, you, you simply click on it from the notification drawer and click charge only. My phone is then redetected and it's still showing up as a portable device, but we're in the charge only mode. Okay, so there's a link in the description to the zip file that you need to download. Once you have clicked on it, you'll end up on the Android Addicts website. Just scroll down to step two and click on the red link here. Once you're on the Mediafire website, Click on the green download button here. Don't click on any other download buttons, just this one here. Remove the pop-up that appears and you'll see down here in Chrome, it's saying that it's not normally downloaded and maybe dangerous. It's not dangerous. Feel free to scan it with your antivirus once you have downloaded it. Uh, so if it does say this, just click on the little down arrow here and click keep. Okay. so. Now we have the file downloaded, just click on it once to open it up. Close your browser down if you like. And we now have the gamepad active tool for October 2019. I've renamed it just so we know which version we're running. And what I'm going to do, as it's a zip file, I can just drag it straight onto here. There's no third party software required this time around, just to try and make things a bit easier for you. And I've dragged it onto the desktop here, as you can see. So close the zip file window that you had open, and now you can double click on your gamepad active tool, October 2019 folder. Now you'll see the files listed in here. The one that you want to use is activate.bat. But first of all, what I recommend you do, if you go into gamepad, Panda gamepad, click on allow, Okay, so it says need activation here. So what we will do is just click need activation and it'll bring up the activation window. Just click active now. And it's now telling you to connect your phone to the PC. So once you're in this state, what you want to do is double click activate.bat. Double click it. You'll get a command prompt window up here. I'll just move the phone over here. Now we've got a USB debugging message appear on the phone. 
So what we're going to do is click always allow from this computer and press OK. OK, and now the activate app is asking you to click retry because it hasn't actually run through yet. So click on retry. and the activate should say it's completed. Now give it a moment and on your phone you will see it's gone to the third green dot, uh, orange dot here and it says activate at the bottom. So click on done in the top right and we now see that Panda Gamepad is activated. Okay so now we are activated we can safely unplug the USB from the PC and from the phone and we now can connect to our controller. So this time around, I'm gonna use my iPega 9083S controller. So if I just turn it on, we should see that the Panda Gamepad detects it. Can take a moment, there we go. So now it's detected. I'm going to pop the phone inside, just bear with me. Okay, so I've just moved the monitor out of the way, just to have a bit more space. So you can see I've got the controller in the gamepad or X input mode, and I'm just going to launch Call of Duty now, and we're just going to set up the controls. Now, as this is the first time we've run Panda Gamepad on this phone, we're going to just ena enable a few of these things. So we need to enable floating widgets. So click on there. We're going to turn off the battery optimization. Scroll down until you find Panda Gamepad. If you can't see it in your list initially, which I can't, what we may need to do is just select all apps here and just scroll down until we get to P. There we go, Panda Gamepad Pro. So we're gonna turn off the battery optimization. Click on back here. And there we go. So we can see here Panda has launched and we've got the little Panda icon up here which will help us set up a few things in a minute, but we'll just wait for the game to load and I'll get into it then. Okay, so once you're in Call of Duty or whatever game it is you are going to play, we're going to just set up the controls. Now in this game, we have the nice option here to actually customize the layout before we get into the game. So that's quite handy. So what we can do now is actually add our controls and select exactly where we want to put them. So, Let's just move a few things around just to space them out. So, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna add in the analog sticks so that we can actually run. Let's just make sure the phone's secure here, okay. So click on the panda, ignore this, and we now get the two analog sticks appear on the screen, so move them to where you want to put them. Now in this case, we're gonna put the left analog stick obviously on the left stick here. Now the run command on Call of Duty is up there. So what we're gonna do is just move it down as far as it will go and just increase the size of the circle until it just about reaches the run. Turn down the music there. Okay, so the right analog stick will be doing the controls for the camera, so make it as big as you can. I'm just going to move this out of the way because that's quite annoying. Let's move these over there just to get as much space as we can. Okay. Right, so back into Panda, right. So the right analog stick will go over here and that'll be my 
uh, look. So that should be big enough. Right, let's add some buttons for the triggers. We'll just get rid of some of these that have already been added in. Okay, so we're gonna put in the right trigger here. So select key and then press the button that you want to use, which in this case is the right trigger. I'm gonna pop that down on the shoot, which is over here. Now for my scope, I want to use the left trigger. So I'm gonna click on the plus again, click key, press the left trigger, and then we're gonna go to the scope here. Now for my knife, I like clicking in the right analog stick. So I'm gonna add another key, click in the right stick, and just move that over to the knife. Reload, I'm gonna add in another key. This time it's the X, and that'll be my reload down there. Next key I'm gonna add in is to go prone, and that's my left stick clicking in. Now we're gonna add in our jump, which will be the A key. And we've got a key already set up here for switching weapons, that's why. We've got a left down and right on the D-pad for our different perks here. And for the grenade, I'm just gonna use the right bumper, which will be this one here. Okay, last but not least, we have our other sort of secondary weapon here, which what I'm gonna do is set it to the up on the D-pad. Okay. Okay, once you're happy with your setup, confirm the settings and you're ready to start. Now I know these may well be bots at the moment. Uh, the first few levels that you play are normally bots just to get you into it, but we'll just see, we're just seeing how the controls work. So you can see it's nice and smooth on the right analog stick here. See how the left one works. Looks like it's working well. Okay, let's try out some of the other buttons. Got the jump working. We've got the left analog stick to zoom working. Let's go and see if we can kill some people or some bots even. Okay, so if you find the controls a bit too sensitive, what you can do is adjust the POV speed within the Panda Gamepad app. So just click on the Panda icon and click on the settings and reduce the POV speed here. Now you can see it's a bit more fluid, not quite so jumpy, so for you know people who want to be a slightly more accurate or not as the case may be, you can adjust the speed as you see fit. So if I just go and change the speed again, we'll set it as fast as we can. And you can see here, it's gone completely insane really. I'm gonna put that back down, have it to about there maybe. Now if you find that when you do this in the app, the game sound stops, the only way you can get the game sound to come back is to actually quit the game and load it back up. 
So if that does happen, which it isn't happening at the moment, uh, just quit the game and reload it, but just make sure you've got everything set up how you want and hopefully you won't need to go into the Panda gamepad to adjust things once it's all set up. Right, I hope you found the video useful. Please leave any comments or questions you have down below. If you like the video, please click on the like button and click subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And I will see you again in the next video.